Now, significant breaking news. Saudi Arabian club Al Hilal are exploring a deal to sign Cristiano Ronaldo. He is, of course, a free agent now after his contract at Manchester United was mutually terminated last week. Well, you may remember that in the summer, United received an offer from Saudi Arabia for Ronaldo. He says the deal, which was rejected, was worth around £300 million. If Al Hilal can get the deal done and over the line, they will listen to offers for their striker Odion Igalu, whose contract is up in the summer. So Al Hilal of Saudi Arabia are exploring a deal to sign Cristiano Ronaldo. But first, just days after leaving Manchester United in the wake of his controversial interview, Cristiano Ronaldo has become the first man to score in five World Cups as his penalty helped Portugal beat Ghana 3-2 in their opening game of the tournament. Well, Gar Ronaldo won and then scored a penalty to put Portugal ahead and became the first to score, as I say, in five World Cups. Ghana equalised through the former Swansea and West Ham forward Andre Ayew, João Felix and Rafael Leo put Portugal 3-1 up, Ghana made it 3-2 and hung on just. There was real drama at the end when the goalkeeper put the ball down, didn't realise there was a Ghanaian behind him and nearly, nearly gave away a goal. Let's get more on it. Let's speak to Melissa Reddy. Melissa, very good to see you again. Melissa Reddy, our senior reporter. Um, let's talk Ronaldo. Uh, after all the headlines, he scored a goal. Do you think he looked anywhere near his best, though? Well, the records keep rolling in for Ronaldo and we heard a lot of shoes today, but then we ended up seeing the one that mattered. One to break Ghanaian hearts as well, because they were predicting that it would not happen today, that Ghana would prevent him from doing so. Anywhere near his best. I think anyone that has watched Cristiano Ronaldo at his peak in his career would not say that he was but I think given the circumstances coming into this World Cup uh, coming into that first game as well just the controversy that's been around him the noise the debate the global attention the ceaseless conversation he still uplifts Portugal and he gave a very good account of himself had a goal disallowed snatched at a few chances there were a few heavy touches but still ultimately he's the one that is their reference point before the game I was speaking to a lot of Portuguese journalists and they were reference, referencing the fact that you know so many people say Ronaldo can't run and that's you know managers analysts everyone's talking about that and they were saying to Portugal that doesn't matter because he's achieved so much and he's been so much to the national team that just his presence can be galvanizing even when we all think it's disruptive what he does on the pitch and in training sessions is good for his teammates now the game itself we were hoping not to be disappointed it was a sleepy first half but having spent the build up today with the fans we're thinking there's so much color there's so much jubilation we want to see a good game and that second half was incredible what would have happened if inaki williams did not slip uh, i don't think ronaldo and portugal wanted to find out the answer to that and they didn't need to in the end, cracking game, as you say. Uh, during the game, though, news broke about a possibility of Ronaldo moving to a club. Now, we broke it. What can you tell us? Unfortunately, it's not the kind of club that Ronaldo would have wanted to come in for him. And, you know, uh, pr just as that termination happened with Manchester United and the interview he gave that led to the termination, it was very, very clear that Ronaldo sees his future still at the top end of the European game. He wants to extend his Champions League legacy. As we know in the summer, that's the reason he was pushing out of Old Trafford in the first place. So that is the goal, that is the key. Now, whether he has to settle, remains to be seen but the club that have come in for him won't be a surprise it's saudi arabia's al hilal and they were the team the only team to put in a formal offer for him in the summer which he rejected united would have accepted the proposal they would have let ronaldo leave but he did not want to go to saudi arabia because he is convinced that he still has a lot to contribute in europe in the champions league indeed